What's up guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to my first video. Um, looking forward to seeing where this channel goes. I'm not really that big on content creation. I've never really posted content on YouTube, so I apologize if the quality, video making quality is not really up to par, but I don't think that's really the point here. It's really uh, about the actual meat of the, the content itself. So looking forward to getting started on that. The main reason for starting this channel is I think there's lots of really, really cool things that you can do with electronics and programming, uh, circuit design, and if you've tuned in, I mean, you're probably in the same boat that I am, and that you're really interested in this sort of stuff, um, and you kind of just want to learn more from other people, and that's pretty much how I learn most of the stuff that I know is just on YouTube, trying to piece together as much information as I can from other people, and hoping to kind of give back a little bit, and uh, kind of present some of the things that I've been able to accomplish with uh, all the information that I've created. Um, do you want to give a disclaimer that I am by no means a professional. This is not my job. I don't make money from uh, engineering or electrical work and whatnot. All the stuff that I've learned is mostly from YouTube or from professors that I've talked to while getting my uh, bachelor's degree. I do have a BS in engineering uh, from university and that's pretty much the extent of my professional education. Uh, but besides that, everything is just stuff that I've compiled from, from the internet. So, the main thing that I do kind of want to get into um, and kind of the inspiration behind all this is was actually my capstone project for my uh, major and the capstone project was called auto drone. It was a pretty cool project. I think it was a mix between a car and a drone. So it's basically a drone that could drive. And if you kind of look at the diagrams here, you can kind of see how it happens. There's these in green, these little warm gears that rotate the arms up and down. And when they're up, it's able to fly like a drone. And then when the arm goes down and engages with this little gearbox right here, I'll try to zoom in. Engages with a little gearbox over here. Um, eh, it's not going to go over. Oh, maybe it will. There we go. And that essentially reduces the speed of the motor because motors only really spin at fast speeds. So it reduces the speed of the motor down to a workable speed that can come out of the, uh, the wheel and they can drive around. It was pretty cool. It worked pretty well, but it's not really the most robust design and not really what I was not really something I want to market. Um, but throughout the process of it, I learned a lot of stuff. And there's lots of really cool things that I was able to work on to get this whole thing to come together from the actual design of the frame. So there, the frame is completely designed in Fusion 360. Then there's a custom circuit board that I designed in KiCad, um, which features a lot of cool stuff as a SM32 F7 processor, voltage regulator, is MPU6000 gyro. And then it also embeds this cool SD link, which is like for onboard debugging. Um, which I think is a pretty cool feature. And then now that we have kind of all the hardware down, all the software is also custom written. And that's gonna be the, the focus of the first part of the video is the software design. I'm not gonna be looking at the exact software for AutoDrone just because this also includes the stuff for it to drive on the ground like a rover. Um, and I don't really want that to be the focus of the video. If people are interested in that, I can absolutely go into it. But just this morning, I actually forked my original um, code and turned it into Bear Drones 32. So no longer auto drone, but now Bear Drones, uh, which is going to essentially be a drone firmware written entirely in embedded C programming. So there's lots of, if you look around the internet, you can definitely find tutorials all over the place on how to code a drone using Arduino, um, or maybe like SM32 Blue Pills, I've seen stuff around there like that but everything is pretty high level. And it kind of goes into the more drone theory and control theory and whatnot, but it doesn't really look at like low level, what is happening step by step. And there's plenty of other open source uh, firmwares out there, like Betaflight is obviously the most popular one. And if you're watching this video, you're probably a little bit familiar with Betaflight. Betaflight is super robust and it'll have you ripping around, flying like a pro, um, if, I mean, if you have those skills, but it's essentially kind of the, the gold standard for drone firmware. But if you're actually interested in firmware development, I Personally, I'm not the most um, experienced with, with embedded C or with C programming, but I, I think I know a little bit. And just looking at Betaflight, it's, it's pretty hard to follow what's actually going on. And it's hard to debug it. It's hard to kind of step through and see what's actually happening at a low level. Um, whereas with my program, you're going to see from IntMain exactly what's happening all the way through. So you're gonna be able to see from the top and you're gonna be able to step through the code, see what's happening, see what's running and really get an idea of what exactly goes into making a drone fly. I do for a second also want to talk about some of the disadvantages of uh, bear drones and the whole project in general, especially when it comes to the code. And 
That is because um, we're focusing so low level and there's no real drivers that are being used, it's very specific to the hardware that we're using. So in this case, my code can only be run on this very specific hardware, um, which is this board that I created. And it's all, the, the board is on KiCad, which is completely open source, and I'll, I'll definitely share that. Um, but I will let you know that if you, you're not gonna be able to just pull a flight controller off the shelf and then run my code on it and then expect it to work. Unfortunately, um, you're gonna have to do some adapting to make sure that all the UARTs are correct, all the SPI channels are right, all the DMA is configured correctly and it might take a little bit of tinkering with. Um, but what I'm kind of setting out to do is just give a little bit of a baseline, and then from there, you can figure out how to make your own stuff from there. So that's my slight disclaimer on the, uh, the kind of flexibility of the code aspect. My code is actually based on this firmware created by this guy, J-I-H-L-E-I-N, um, who created this firmware called the AQ32+, and this must have been Eight, or eight to ten years ago is when this was created, as you can see by the, the commits on the side. Um, and this is actually pretty cool firmware. It supports pretty much all like the basic uh, drone drone hardware, like SM32 F405s, MPU6000, Max 7456 uh, OSD chip. Um, but a lot of the stuff is like the the chip is a little outdated, and some of the libraries are also a little outdated. And this just hasn't been touched in a while. So I kind of use this as my basic framework for my code. And a lot of the stuff I did is built on that and I essentially use kind of the framework to embed my own lower level drivers and whatnot into, um, and then build around it. And since uh, I've done most of the coding and since I've worked on this project more and more, it's kind of separated a little bit from this firmware, but I do want to give a little bit of credit here. And I've also talked to this guy a little bit to get a better understanding of how his firmware works. And it's pretty cool. It has lots of cool features like uh, altitude hold, uh, GPS hold, and all these other cool things that I hope to integrate into mine but for now, my firmware is pretty, as you can see, bare drones, it's pretty bare bones, uh, and it'll get a drone flying, and that's about it for now. There's some other features that are in the works, but for now, it's pretty much just basic flying, so if you wanna learn about how you just get your drone off the ground with embedded C programming, uh, this is the place that you're gonna wanna start with. So, I think I'm gonna wrap that up, wrap it up for the first video. Don't really wanna go into too much detail for now, uh, but my next video is going to be an overview of the firmware, just kind of walking through the contents of the files um, and then just kind of seeing what the general flow is of the code uh, from top to bottom. And then subsequent videos are probably going to be, I'm probably going to do a video per file. So um, a video on the SBI driver, video on the I squared C driver, video on the um, kind of quaternions that go into doing all the rotations necessary to turn your raw gyro data into um, a 3D attitude uh, of the quadcopter. And then another video on the mixer, another video on everything else. I'm gonna try to keep each video pretty short and to the point so that if you wanna scroll through and figure out uh, what's going on in each one, you don't have to watch through like a 20 minute video uh, to try to figure that out. Um, my code is also all open source, so I'm gonna post a link to Bear Drones as well as Auto Drone if you're curious to look into that. And then the other thing that I want to mention is that everything is still a work in progress. So as I go through these videos and as I get feedback from other people, I hope to improve the code. So what I am showing you on screen right now might not be what you see in a few months. So um, be prepared for things to flex a little bit. Uh, nothing is final, nothing is you know, the alpha release. Everything is not even beta, it's probably all the way down to, I don't know, whatever's at the bottom, Omega. So. Thank you guys for sticking around and hoping to see you in the next video.